Have you ever wondered what would happen to a morbidly obese person doing a zombie apocalypse? Meet Ham Burglar, a morbidly obese cat burglar who specialized in restaurant robberies and has his eyes set on a big score of taking over the fast food headquarters Spiffo's in downtown Louisville. And here's his story. I started in a restaurant with two zombies directly behind me. After I killed them, I checked my map to see that I was in the center of West Point in one of the worst buildings. I went into the kitchen to find a weapon, but didn't find anything until I walked out the back door. The objective for day one was to secure a building to prep for the trip to Louisville. I decided to take over the small grocery store and hardware store up the street because there were small apartments above them and I would have access to a lot of food and tools. On my way to the building, I found a car with two keys that was just missing a wheel. I checked it out and it had a little bit of gas and a gas can, but I didn't need that stuff yet, so I left it behind. I made my way to the building and decided to clear out the building next to it first, just to make the area a little bit safer. I entered the building I was going to stay in, but there were a lot more zombies than I expected. Yeah, let's go outside. Let's, 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 let's all go outside. Let's, let's, all, let's, all go, let's all go outside. I managed to clear a majority of the zombies out of the building, but my once ideal safe house was no longer safe. <laughs> I grabbed some food and went upstairs to rest and regain my endurance before I finished clearing the building. Oh, 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 oh my god. Now, I was only looking for one thing in the hardware store, and that was a sledgehammer to make my base 100% secure and to get to the gun store. But I didn't find one. After securing the building, I created a plan for finding a car and looting the materials I needed for the trip. I wanted to leave after the helicopter event. I cleared a path to the grocery store parking lot to search for an RV or a trailer. And I found an RV in decent condition. Okay, good engine, good hood, no gas. I wasn't sure if I wanted to use the RV yet, so I kept searching for another car. I cleared a path to the gun store and found more cars in decent condition but they didn't have any gas. Walking home, I came up with a plan to burn down the wall to the gun store since I didn't find a sledgehammer in the hardware store. So I stopped by the bar to grab a lighter and a bottle of bourbon before heading back home, burning my TV nah. and catching an episode of Life and Living. My second objective was to clear the police station and search for more cars. On the way to the police station, I found a zombie wearing a rabbit suit. I need it. I need it. My powers. They're gonna come back. Oh, the whole suit. I should just take the whole suit, right? Nobody knew who I was until I put on the mask. I said it wrong, but you get the point. Alright. Time to clear out this. Oh, ooh, oh boy. I tried to clear out the police station, but I was quickly overrun. So I retreated to my ooh, safe no. parking no, no, lot no, 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 and no, cleared no, them out. No. All right, walk. No more speed walk, no more speed walk, no more speed walk, no more speed walk. I was too tired to finish clearing the station, so I went back to my safe house, made a stir fry with whatever food was in the refrigerator, and rested until my endurance went back up. Hey, my endurance is back up. Carrots, all that, all right. Oh my God! Nah, I'm done with this building. After that near-death experience, I walked back to the police station and cleared it out. I was lucky enough to find a key on one of the bodies so I could get into the armor. And it was stocked with everything but a good amount of ammo. Oh, oh man. What is this? Oh, this is a sniper. With the police station cleared, I wanted to clear a building closer to the gas station so I could have a second safe house. I chose a convenience store across from the gas station because there was an apartment above it and it usually had a lot of food and some tools. When I got to the building, I realized an event had spawned inside, and everything that should have been in the building was gone. Oh no. I slept through the night and thought about how could this get any worse? And the water cut off! 
Oh, wow. How, how much better could this be? The water cut off on day three. Wow. I then went to go play the gas station. With each passing minute, I began to think about why this run was going so bad so early. I cleared the last zombie, and I wanted to search the gas station for some food for my trip back. But just as I jumped through the window... Really? 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 Oh my god! Oh my god. I ran as fast as my fat legs would take me into the nearest building. Okay. I'm gonna have to make some work. I'm gonna have to hide under a bed. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Oh my god, I fell. Get up! Get off me! <laughs> I hid under the bed for a few hours, listening to the zombies beating at the doors until I came up with a plan. My only option is to, to jump out the... They're at the bottom! They're at the bottom! The only way I would have a chance to escape and survive is if I jumped out the window. <laughs> I broke my fat ankles. <laughs> I'm exhausted. My ankles are broken. I'm hungry. How am I even gonna survive this situation? I don't even know if the area that I had made safe is safe anymore. Get away. Get away. Get away. Stop. It's doing no damage. I killed the pursuing zombies and made my way back to my base where I had a victory pie and slept to heal my injuries. I woke up late in the morning and decided it was time to leave West Point. See, every single time! I walked to the grocery store parking lot to clear any zombies the alarm had brought into the area. Please, grocery store, don't. Oh, wow, look at that. And there's another RV trailer camper. After clearing a lot, I went into the store to clear the zombies so I could do some shopping. But as I was clearing the back, I got scratched by a zombie <gasps> off screen. Come on, man. With the grocery store somewhat safe, I left the store to search for a gas can to fill up the RV. I searched all the cars in the immediate area until I saw an auto shop in the distance. I tried to push on, but my endurance was low and I didn't want to risk getting overrun. So I walked back to the camper trailer I found in the other parking lot and slept. There we go. When I woke up, I walked to the auto shop and cleared it out. I searched every single shelf, but there wasn't a single gas can. Until I remembered the first car I found had a gas can and a little gas in it. So I left the auto shop and started heading back towards the car. Okay. Yeah. I grabbed the gas can and the gas, and then backtracked to all the cars I found, siphoning the little gas that was in them, before circling back to the RV and catching another episode of Life and Living. Alright. I can now build walls. I then went into the grocery store and filled up a few carts with food to stock up the fridge and cabinets. And the last thing I wanted before moving the RV was medical supplies. I walked over to the pharmacy and cleared out the lot and checked out the bigger RV. It was in decent condition, but I decided to keep my other one. I grabbed all the medical items that I thought I would need and shoved them into a convenient first aid pouch I found before heading back to the RV. I hotwired the RV and moved it behind my safe house to start grabbing tools and any bags I left behind. I grabbed the water dispenser and bottle from the office next door to have more water storage for my trip. 
I noticed that my battery had a very low charge, so I grabbed another battery from a random truck nearby to install in my RV while I waited for the other one to charge. It was also the day before the helicopter event, so I grabbed a bunch of books to read while I waited for the event to pass. My battery fully charged while I was organizing, so I swapped batteries. I grabbed a few bags and a cart and walked back to the police station to loot the armory. Trying not to be greedy, I only took one gun of each ammo type that was available. After looting the armory, I walked over to the gas station. I wanted to see how overran it was. To my surprise, there weren't many zombies in the area. So I cleared out the zombies around the gas station and walked back to my cart and heard the worst possible thing I could hear no, at the moment. No, 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 you were supposed to be on day six. What are you doing here? No, 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 no. I had to ditch my cart to fight the zombies. Fortunately, there were very few zombies left in the immediate area since I had cleared all of them out. I took out the pursuing zombies and then slept in the back until the event passed. I woke up, loaded up the guns, and drove to the gas station to fill up the RV and a few gas cans for fuel reserves. I then drove to the bar and grabbed all the bourbon for making Molotovs and headed to the gun store. Before I burned down the wall, a small horde event wandered over to me, and one of the zombies had a sledgehammer on its back. Whoa! Look at that! Look at that! This is... It said, you know what? You're about to do something reckless, so let me just give you what you need. A sledgehammer. This is all I wanted. Unfortunately, the hammer didn't have the destroy wall function enabled on its model, so it was just a regular melee weapon. I just got my hopes up. I found a sledgehammer. It gifted me a sledgehammer. So I went back to plan B. Burned down the wall and put out the flame with a fire extinguisher. Oh my god! Oh my god, how did I just whiff that throw? As soon as I hopped in, I told myself to not be greedy, but I still ended up spending two hours in there and I took almost everything. I am finally done sorting through everything. That took way longer than I expected it to. I, I tried to stop myself, but I ended up grabbing most of everything. I did better, but I'm not gonna be greedy. I was greedy, but I just needed to go to the auto parts store for a spare heavy duty battery and an oil filter so I could make a suppressor. I left the gun store and went to the tire store, grabbed the heavy duty battery and an oil filter, and a few extra items for tire repair. I was finally ready to leave West Point and head to Louisville. My plan was to drive up to the warehouse outside of Louisville, clear out the parking lot and building, then grab a scout car and go clear out the military checkpoint. When I got to the parking lot, I tried to take out as many zombies as I could without a gun until I started to get overran. Yeah, this is bad. I ran around the building in an attempt to lose as many of them as I could so I can get a gun from the RV. Full sprint, 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 full sprint. Don't look back, full sprint, full sprint. I crafted two Molotovs, then slept to prepare myself for the fight. I grabbed some ammo and a few guns from my arsenal and set out to gather as many zombies in the parking lot as I could. Come on, Vominos. Everybody, let's go. Come on, we can do it. Where are we going? To burn in the parking lot. When I had enough of them gathered up, I threw a Molotov. What even is that? What even was that? And walked Ooh, around until they were all. That's cool. how you clear out a warehouse right there. I went back to the RV and slept to prepare for my next mission. There are two pristine looking cars in a lot. The first car barely had any gas in it but the truck was in great condition and had a full tank. I went back to the RV, grabbed an assault rifle and a bunch of ammo and took off to go clear the military checkpoint. Look at all those bags. Ooh, an APC. Oh man, this is looking nice. This is looking nice already. Clearing all the zombies took the entire day. I kept driving around and shooting until I got to the last zombie. 
While I was clearing, I remember the zombie had a bunny outfit on. I went back to the body and grabbed the head to add to my collection. Oh yeah. I drove back to my RV and slept through the rest of the night. Fantastic. That was a good day. When I woke up, I brought the RV up to the checkpoint so I could finish clearing out the remaining zombies. Oh, it's Kill Bill. And a katana? What? After I cleared the remaining zombies from the checkpoint, I drove my RV into the checkpoint and started looting. And I was extremely greedy. I spent an hour filling up multiple crates and carts filled with guns, ammo, and attachments that I didn't even really need. I was being extremely greedy. Once I was done looting, I finally drove into Louisville. My plan was to use a mansion in the Northwest as an outpost to prepare for my final trip to the Spiffo headquarters. While on the way to the mansion, I finally found the sludge hammer I was searching for. I want one closer to the factory. That one got metal gates. Is that what I think it is? It was worth it. It was worth it. Finally. An actual sledgehammer. It took me getting to Louisville. Took 14 attempts. Each one hours long. I finally made it to the mansion and I almost got overrun before I could start clearing. Right, come on, everybody. Come on. Please tell me I have that Molotov on me still. I do. Ooh. Ooh. I made it. I made it and I cleared out my little, my little operating base. I can't believe I did it. With my outpost secured, I made a plan to search three large warehouses in the area for building supplies. I grabbed some more ammo, then walked to the parking lot next to the mansion and got a new scout car. I was able to find almost everything I needed in the very first warehouse. The last thing I needed was propane and propane accessories. So I left the first warehouse and went to the second right. huge warehouse and searched every single shelf. That should hold me over for a minute. Okay, stuff for farming. Cause this is like grocery store stuff. Out of this giant warehouse, I only found one propane torch, no propane tank, and not even a sledgehammer. Find that crazy. Even though I already have a sledgehammer on me. So I moved on to the third warehouse. There's planks in there though. Clothes turning right around. Yep, whole lot of nothing. Oh, a bunch of bourbon. Not gonna need this unless I wanna burn down the entire city. On the side of the second warehouse was an antique store. I decided to check it out hoping to find a propane tank in the warehouse section of the building. So I parked at the gas station and hopped the fence. I think this might be a Furniture, nope, handcrafted wallets. What as soon as I opened up the door, you got a warehouse. Huh? Oh my god. Yep, 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 yep. This trip is over with. This trip is over with. Trip is done. Trip is done. Yep, yep, just like that. This area is probably not even going to be used ever again. Mm hmm. Yep, I'm about to find another route. Yep. I'm about to find another route to get back over there. <laughs> when I got to the intersection, I had a choice to make. Turn left and retreat to safety, or turn right and be greedy. Uh, I'm going to the military surplus store. I'm going to the military surplus store. I'm going to the military surplus store. 
I decided to be greedy and head over to the military surplus store, even though I had more than enough weapons and ammo. I wanted to see if I could find a minigun to fight the large horde that was forming. I made it to the store and started to clear the lot on the side of the building. But I didn't check my back and... No. 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 Oh my God! What? That's what being greedy gets. I was trying to be too greedy. I had all the guns in the world. I had all the ammo I needed. All I had to do was go to the building. I grinded. I got everything I needed. Everything was looking up. An alarm goes off. And what do I decide to do instead of go to safety? I decide to be greedy. What? What was I thinking? 